It's a good day to have a great day. Hi, everybody. I'm Scotty Gaines. Now, the greatest football players in our state just signed their national letters of intent, including some kid going to Oklahoma. The most signature player in our state, Gavin Sawchuck. Sign it! Hey, I like this right here, too. It got a little bit of flair to it. That a boy, Gavin. Well, there's four more years of hard work going coming, so, um, I mean, it's really exciting, you know, being able to have that next opportunity, you know, know where you're going to be, know what you're going to do, and um, be able to be ready to make that next step. I'm really excited. Thank you, everyone that made this possible. Thank you all for coming out today. It means a lot. Erie Orange and Kansas State Purple look great for John Bastor. We love it. Sign it, John. Just the opportunity that I have to go play there and try to make it to the next level at the NFL. A couple of three-time state champs, Kyle Day Jr. and Brady Rads of Cherry Creek are headed to CSU. I'm so excited. It's, it's like a dream come true. CU's getting a six foot six, 300 pound local lineman, Travis Gray of Cherokee Trail. I can't wait to, to have fun. That, that, that's, that's all, that's what I'm gonna be going up there for, it's just have fun. Playing, like being, being the beast that I am inside on the football field, I can't wait. And the duo of Eagle Crest, Braden Miller, and Caden Weatherby enjoyed the day together. It's great. Caden and I actually over the years have became best friends, and um, it's been awesome to go through this whole process with him, and you know, it's awesome. So putting the pen to the paper, you know, you realize like this is a done deal, and you're going to school there. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, and uh, you know, I've always. I've always had the dream of, you know, making it to this to this place, and I mean, I mean, the feeling is just indescribable. I mean, it's it's dreams coming true. Valor's Luke Meyer is going to Air Force. Check him out, Luke. Sign it, and Caden Hawkins right there. He's going to Wyoming. Caden, sign it. And this guy right here, Jordan Norwood, he's going to Liberty. Jordan Norwood, a signature player. Sign it. Hey, can we get a drum roll, please, guys? The nine news on a roll top play of the week is Rock Canyon Palms. Hey, good job, guys. Woohoo! Hey, they win their second straight state championship. They got the most votes in our poll, and they earned the honor roll win. Some superstars. Hey, the Ralston Valley Students section have their own ESPN crew for the Ralston Roundup Championship. Personally, I think it looks better this way. That's what you love to see. Doherty and the Mustangs. Here's Doherty's James Pulliam. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> that worked perfect. Well done, guys. The Stangs, they'd win by two. Help that, helped out by this final minute pass from Jackson Hansen. And the finish from freshman Tanner Bruchetta with the foul there, too. Okay, Ralston Valley, they're the tournament champs. Great, and nothing's better than winning at home. Nothing's better than defending your own house, and just amazing. Hey, this one was sent in to us. Here's Joel Speckman of Chaparral. Follow the circle. Throw it down, Joel. Come on now. He gets that dunk in the Wolverines' big win over Cherry Creek. All right, so the Columbine girls basketball team just lost their first game of the season. But who cares? I love today. Right after their game, Columbine head coach Greg Bolding Jr. took a knee. What's she going to say? What's she going to say? Yes! Come on, Kylie Morris. She's also a coach at Columbine. In front of the whole gym, they get engaged. Even Santa was there. We love that. The entire team helped out. It's like they planned it or something. Lights, roses, tune in to Nine News next summer where we, where we will be live at their wedding. You specifically. Yeah, yeah I hope yes. at least. But I would like you to be like um, giving play by play, you know what I'm saying? Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I would like for you to take a nine new swag chain and then oh. just kind of, you yeah. know. Well, today is is Eddie's final day with the oh. prep rally. Oh. And he's always wanted oh. a he nine new swag he's chain. Nine and so we got you your very own swag chain. It says Eddie Randall. Good day to have a great day because it's always a wonderful day with Eddie. So here you Eddie. go, Eddie. Oh. The prep rally loves you, and here's your swag chain. Thank you so much. Give a few words for us. Yeah, this okay. means a lot. This means a lot. I've been, I've been, you know, campaigning for yes. this swag chain for a while. But this is actually yeah, my last day um, doing the show with with you because mm -hmm. uh, yeah, because you're here on Saturday. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going off to Kansas. Uh, my last official day here is Monday. But uh, yeah, this has been fun. This is a great gift, but it's been fun wow. working yes. with you. Everyone will do more of these goodbyes later. Oh. The, the prep rally and waffles will miss you. That was really good. Wow. I have to say, that morning 
I watched from home and was she like did. cooking breakfast going, Waffles! <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Waffles is Scotty's fish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes. Yes. Who can predict games? Congratulations. Outcomes. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll be right back.